So Anthony Joshua tells the fans that they should train and they should fight Wilder. Coming up next, stay tuned. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, coming back at y'all with another one. So, Anthony Joshua tells the fans that they should train, get in shape, and they should fight Deontay Wilder. Alluding to the fact that he will not be forced into fighting Deontay Wilder. He says, this career isn't determined by what people want, Joshua said. It's my career. I've always pulled for the, and done what was right for myself which has ultimately led to me becoming champion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, if this doesn't clarify everything, if this doesn't make this crystal clear, if this doesn't if if he if he's not being gun battle straight about what his plans was and and not to fight Deontay Wilder like he stated in an interview when he said that the devil was on this shoulder and the angel was on this shoulder and that he was thinking about not fighting Deontay Wilder until 2020. He said that he was gonna, if Wilder kept running his mouth about the fight, he may even freeze him out. Doesn't that seem like what he's doing? That's what it seems like to me. And I'm gonna say it doesn't even seem. That's what he is doing, okay? And, um. He says that he would not be forced into fighting Deontay Wilder. Basically alluding to the fact that he wanted to get more experience under his belt before taking that fight. This is a testament to Deontay Wilder. This just debunks all the notions that these guys come up with and state that Deontay Wilder hasn't fought anybody. Well, this is, makes it crystal clear why nobody has fought him because they're afraid to fight him. It's just like Charles Martin. He avoided Deontay Wilder to take the fight with Anthony Joshua because he liked his chances with Anthony Joshua better than he did with Deontay Wilder. It's like Joseph Parker turned down negotiations twice to fight Deontay Wilder because he liked his chances better with Anthony Joshua than he did with Deontay Wilder. Now, according to Eddie Hearn, Joseph Parker reasoning for turning down the Wilder fight was that they offered Joseph Parker more money than Deontay Wilder, Al Heyman, PBC, and Shelly Finkel could offer Joseph Parker. But Joseph Parker, we know, was, was ringside when Deontay Wilder had a fight. And when he was ringside, he knocked his opponent clean out. Joseph Parker chose, this is not what I want. I, I'd rather take my chances with Anthony Joshua. Okay? We know this to be true. This, this also to be true with Vladimir Klitschko, who turned down the fight with Deontay Wilder. So I'm going to say, oh, Shelly Finkel came out and said that um, Wilder wasn't ready for Vladimir Klitschko. That's why the fight didn't happen. That was nonsense. I'm going to debunk that. I'm going to tell you this. Shelly Finkel at the time was managing Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko. So it didn't it didn't uh, uh, suit well for Shelly Finkel to have his top two fighters in the ring and eliminate and one eliminate the other. He would prefer his fighter fight someone else and and then Deontay Wilder fight someone else instead of fighting each other. And then he gets the top earnings. So it was a conflict of interest because Shelly Finkel managed both of them. So he didn't want to put his fighters in there, his two type top dogs, heavyweights. He would rather see them fight someone else and then uh, um, maximize on the money, on the income. Okay, so that's why Shelly Finkel came out and said that. But most people are not going to tell you that. They're going to pretend and act like Shelly Finkel just said Deontay Wilder wasn't ready. They're not going to tell you Shelly Finkel was also Vladimir Klitschko's manager. So it's like a, 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 a fighter having a trainer having two fighters in the same stable. It doesn't, it doesn't suit him well to have them fight each other because then he has to pick a side. Right? It would, he would prefer that they fight 
two opposite people on the same night and he could train them both for two different fights right that's just how it goes right Joshua states that it's not about the big light it's not about taking from the industry he says I don't want to drive a Rolls Royce tomorrow I don't want one hot one hit fight wonder then I'm a champion one week and a few months later I've lost it because I'm living the life I want to add to the industry give back I do it because I'm passionate about it well here's the thing Anthony Joshua you're not a one hit wonder because you've now defended your title since winning against Vladimir Klitschko you fought you unified against Joseph Parker you beat Carlos Tackham so how could you possibly be a one-hit wonder when you've defended the title numerous of times at this point? You're a unified champion, which means you had a belt and you fought somebody else that had a belt. So how could you po and you took their belt? So how could you possibly be a one-hit wonder? A one-hit wonder would be Charles Martin. Charles Martin is the one-hit wonder. He won the title, then lost it immediately to you. So he was the one that 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 splurged. The the bright light shined on him one time. And then he lost it all overnight. That's not you. So why? how could you possibly be a one-hit wonder? You see, I'm convinced. This is why they don't let Anthony Joshua talk in the public. Because he just talks himself into a hole. How could he possibly be a one-hit wonder when he's defended his titles numerous of times? And this is his claim to fame by his fans. That he, he's won multiple titles and he's beat the better opposition. So how could you possibly be a one-hit wonder? Right? He says he wants to add to the industry, meaning to that he wants to give back to the sport of boxing. Well, if you want to give back to the sport of boxing, then you should give the fights that the fans want to see, not elude them. The fans and everybody wants to see Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Next. Nobody wants to see Alexander Povetkin versus Anthony Joshua. Next. Except the people that want to defend Anthony Joshua and know that Anthony Joshua and feel like Anthony Joshua is going to lose to Deontay Wilder. Those are the only people that want to see Anthony Joshua fight Alexander Povetkin. True boxing fans want to see Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Point blank and period. It's just like the Manny Pacquiao situation with uh, Floyd Mayweather. Nobody wanted to see Manny Pacquiao versus Juan Wimmel Marquez a fourth, fifth, sixth time. Nobody wanted to see Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley one, two, three, four times. Nobody wanted to see Floyd Mayweather fight Robert Guerrero and then fight um well the Canelo Alvarez fight people wanted to see. But you know when he fought the Robert Guerrero to the world when he fought um Victor Ortiz of the world nobody wanted to see those fights not over Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather that's just not true. As a true boxing fan, you want to see Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. You didn't want to see Floyd Mayweather versus Victor Ortiz, Floyd Mayweather versus Robert Guerrero, Manny Pacquiao versus Marquez, Manny Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley. Nobody wanted to see that. We want to see Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Nobody wanted to see Manny Pacquiao versus Chris Algieri. So, you know, Anthony Joshua, man. It's just the more he talks, the more I understand why Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, Barry Hearn keep a muzzle on him. Because the more he talks, the more he digs himself in a hole. It just doesn't make any sense. So now he's telling us that the fans should get in shape and fight Deontay Wilder if they if somebody wants if they want Deontay Wilder to fight, then the fans should get in shape and fight him. Deontay Wilder stated that most definitely he could have gotten an exemption for this fight, Wilder said. That was the least of their worries. Right there because everyone wants it. When everyone wants it, then there's nothing that could stand in the way of the fight of this magnitude. No possible way. And it states, um, even when he's announcing Povetkin, they're talking about me. Everywhere we go, they're talking about this fight. But Joshua doesn't care what everyone wants. He says he's following protocol. Unbelievable. You see, 
the more he talks, like I said, the more he digs himself in a hole. That's just the bottom line. That's the bottom line. So that's all I got. You can check this article. They, they also allude to me in this article. It's on the New York Times. Uh, you can check this article out in the New York Times. Um, they also refer to me in the New York Times when I uh, shouted out um, Wilder. We wanted, told AJ that we wanted to see the fight between himself and Wilder. But that's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Blue Blue Bus Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV. All one word. So Anthony Joshua states that let them train to fight. Let them train to be a fighter and fight Deontay Wilder. Joshua told AP. It's easy talking about it. It's another thing doing it. Why would we do that? This is unbelievable. That's all I got, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Shouts out to the whole LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media, bro. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Drop that comment in the comment section. Like and share these videos. That's all I got. Let me know what y'all think. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby. From the Empress. Much love. Watch.